All right, guys. So this video will be a little bit different. Um, Y'all know I'm up to my eyeballs and different projects to work on, but all I needed was one more. So basically what had happened, I've got here, uh, I'm working on a car for my mom. And this would just kind of be a little beater car for her. She wants to run around in, uh, keep miles off her other car kind of deal. But that's not bad, a little 2000 Honda. Uh, and the car's got a pretty significant door damage. And I figured, well, she could drive it as is, you know, it's just be ugly. And I thought, I, you know, it, it wouldn't hurt me at all to have a little bit more paint practice while I'm, uh, you know, waiting to paint my dark sport. So, um, I was able to find, I don't know if you can see it out here. Uh, got us a little $300 jewel, and it actually has... Aluminum wheels look a little nicer. The car needs new tires anyway, and I was able to steal the door off of it, which brings me to here. Uh, and that was kind of a beigey door. Yesterday, I just got out, scuffed this door all around, and shot the jam. And I thought it would, it, which there's a little fisheye action happening there, but that doesn't matter. It'll get covered up by rubber. Um, the rest of that, I was like, holy crap, this looks really good, especially for me. Um, so my plan here was to try, see there's like no orange peel at all in this. I got my gun set up correctly this time. Um, my plan with this project, I was going to try to go over just a few mistakes that I, not necessarily mistakes, just things I could have done better on the blue mini paint. And hopefully it can help some of you all out. I'm sorry this is not a Mopar. I can call it the, the Hopar project if you want to. Um, I'm still waiting a few more days. Uh, I'm getting some good answers on what to name our project Apache. <laughs> some pretty funny ones. Um, but yeah, here's, a, here's that door I shot yesterday, just a jam. Today I'm going to pull that other door off. Uh, throw all the hardware into this that we need, like lock cylinder. Uh, that was actually a different... That was an EX. This car's an LX. Um, and I need to... Finish sand that car. I actually fixed. Let me move over here. I uh, fixed two or three little door dings in it, which I guess they weren't door dings if they're in the hood, but had some some dents along here. I was able to fill in some spot putty. Had a couple in the hood. That's why that got primed. Uh, I shot a little bit of the color just over that primer yesterday, and that's a spot that I need to sand some more. If you can see it, rised up right there, raised up, whatever you want to call it, but. Hopefully when I'm done, this will be a nice little car. Um, I wasn't planning on doing another paint video. I, like I said, I don't want to paint anything ever again. But um, I need to do this for my mom. And always, uh, family comes first. So I got to get this thing done. Uh, this will be my third day on it. Hopefully I'll get it painted on day four, which should be tomorrow. But I got to get that door put on. Um, go around re the entire car because I was going to just blend the door into this side and usually that goes poorly if you're not a professional and know what you're doing so basically most of my most of my painting will be above my trim line um, and I got to get everything masked off before then I uh, had a couple little spots back here I fixed bumper was kind of ugly I don't I, I got a uh, Benny Bullock took some good pictures of this car and, and got me some paint mixed up, but it actually comes back to a, a Volkswagen 84 Huron Blue. That's what I'd call it. But um, yeah, when I shot that door, it looks it looks really good. If I can put that whole that finish on this whole car, I wouldn't be scared, um, you know, to put my mom in this or whatever. But hopefully, y'all. Uh, hang out if you want to see another paint video hang out if not i'm sorry um i promise i've been working on the other projects also it's just like i don't have enough time to put it all into a video uh but i'm gonna shoot this thing hopefully i'll hang out for that and i'll go over a few just a few simple things that i could have fixed from the or things i could do better from the uh blue mini project all right got my new door on 
it looks a lot better. It was kind of a funky beige color, if you'll remember. Uh, kind of like that. Maybe you call that pewter, I don't know. I'll put my original blue door handle back on. I'm gonna put the mirror on after it's painted. But door jam, still looks sharp. Hopefully by the time it's all over with, uh, the rest of the car will look that good. But I was talking about a mistake, mistakes that I made last time and it was basically just uh, shortcomings. Um, on my part, uh, I, I rushed the job at the end. Uh, like, like I said, I sprayed that truck in 14 working days. Um, you know, and I was, I was pushing myself on deadline because I said, um, you know, I'm, only, I'm, I'm going to charge you this amount to paint your truck. So, you know, if I spent 20 days instead of 14, um, I'm losing money at that point. So I had, I, it had to be lucrative enough for me to do it. And I kind of undershot myself. I should have, um, probably charged a little bit more and took two more days uh so that'd be mistake number one uh mistake number two uh it goes along with that i i'd rushed on that driver's side door and i had actually shot the the coat of primer on that door which i was using for a sealer uh that morning and i was trying to rush it and rush it and rush it and i never could sand it and i look later look on the uh on the jug here uh, uh will reach full, full cure after 18 hours maybe block sanded after three to four hours or wet sanded two to three so you know i i had it on there shot it um and i you know i it was three hours but the humidity so high out here that i probably needed six hours so what i did with this primer i actually shot it yesterday morning uh probably right before noon so it's been here 24 hours I can run over and sand it now. I'm actually going to start with uh, just a DA and some 320. And I'm going to knock off any any high spots. Uh, high spots. Um, I'm going to knock off any texture. And then I'm going to go over like any spots. Like see here, still shiny. It's That's never been sanded. I was going to DA the whole car, probably with 320. And then I'll roll it out. So I'm going to finish sand this car with 500. Uh, anywhere that's only getting cleared like the bumpers I've actually got some just some ultra fine scotch brights and I'm gonna I'm gonna hit those bumpers really hard just so I can put some put some new clear on it and then the, the entire car basically I'm shooting the entire car but it's only getting color on certain parts so my plan is going to be Start with the door, obviously that's the wrong color. Um, the top, any primer spots, hood and this fender. So I'll co go around, color shoot that the first time, um, let it flash off, uh, shoot it a second time, let that flash off. And then my third time, um, I'm actually gonna be growing that color each, each pass. So say first pass is just on those spots, second pass, I'll actually dust into this, dust down into here, right? See, I need to shoot this trunk lid, so I'd already had coated it once, dust down into here. And then if it needs a third, which it probably will on these, these sort of spots, then I'll go ahead and shoot it. But my plan was not to shoot the entire car. Again, I'm not, not putting any color down here. This is, you know, that needs to be um, wet sanded some or scuffed. But I've got a, like I said, one quart of paint. That quart will make two quarts, so I'll have half a gallon of color to shoot the whole car with. Um, and that may be stretching it, but I'm going to find out. This is actually, you know, the, the video is about uh, just getting some good practice. Um, you know, and the way my luck goes, this beater car will look perfect. And my dark sport that I want to look great uh, will probably look like crap. So we'll find out. Y'all hang out a minute. I'm going to get this stuff sanded. And at the end of the day here, hopefully you can see that car is pretty well scuffed. As far as I know, it's ready to go, ready to get masked tomorrow and painted. Uh, I went around the whole thing with 500 uh, after I hit it with that 320 on the DA. 
500 on a block, then I did 500 without a block, then I did the extra fine Scotch Bright uh, once all the way around, basically like I was vigorously washing the car. And then I rinsed all that. I came around it a second time uh, with what was left of my gain. So yeah, it should dry off, be pretty super dull. Uh, get masked up tomorrow and get shot. So hopefully it turns out all right. Everywhere that's in theory, that's what my clear coat should look like at the end, be that slick, but we'll see. Talking about correcting mistakes from last time, I've actually got a, this is just a piece of air duct or something here, but I've sanded it just like I did the car. And I'm gonna get my gun set up. I actually got a, I sanded this piece of metal over here, but I'll get my gun set up on that. I'll walk over and actually shoot this piece of metal before I shoot anything else. Be sure my flow pattern's right and everything looks good. I'm gonna do that for base and clear. Uh, I've got my wing here. This is something I'm adding to the car that it was on the other car. Uh, I thought it might make it look a little sportier. I got the car masked up and ready. Um, you know, it's kind of ugly, but remember this is just a beater car, so got my new door on. Uh, all masked up, so I wiped it off once with alcohol, and I'm gonna run and eat lunch, take a break. That was another mistake that I made last time. Everything had to be finished, sanded, masked, and shot in one day. I planned it that way, and that was wrong. So I've got plenty of time now. Um, you know, and it's a little cooler today. Uh, the weather's trying to cooperate, but yeah. So I'm gonna run and eat lunch, come back, and I'll have you on my GoPro, and we'll shoot some stuff. Got the second coat of base on uh, if you remember see how it's still a little bit light right there everywhere there's gray primer um, it's uh it's gonna take more coats this door looks I would say 90% covered uh, if you can see a difference or not I'm not sure but it looks a little bit cloudy in there uh, that hood was all primer and you can see see my tiger stripes in it so I'm gonna fix that in a second um, think what else tops looking pretty good from here it's kind of hard to tell a few little dents in there that didn't need fixed but yeah I still got about half my paint left my wing might need two more coats Here's my test panel. You can see it's starting to flash off. Oop. See that kind of drier edge there. I'm gonna give it plenty of time between coats because it's so humid out. Overall, it's doing pretty good. I do have had one Arkansas mosquito right there that I picked out with a pair of tweezers. So maybe it'll have enough color on it in a second to cover on but 
Uh, yeah, I think it's gonna look pretty good if I can keep this up. All right, let's do some final thoughts on this one. Um, obviously on camera, it's gonna look super great. I got some trash and I know I was in and out several times. Um, for an old beater car though, the finish turned out pretty good. Um, I've got some orange peel. Uh, most likely this is not gonna get buffed because it doesn't really matter. Um, Kind of a cool color. I think I like the blue mini color better, but I think in shooting this, yeah, that trunk lid looks pretty good. Um, in shooting this, I'm definitely getting better at painting. So I appreciate y'all watching. Um, if you hadn't already, please subscribe. You've already done that, I'm sure. Check that run out. Ah. <sighs> I might saying that out. I don't. Top looks pretty good. There's a little dimple somewhere. But overall, I think I got good. See, there's my other run. But I can see you. You see me. Me see you. Cool. I'm getting back on our Apache next time. And I got to get some more Mopar stuff to y'all. That's what the channel's all about. So. Thank y'all for watching. And... I'll catch you next time. Where's our wing?